Hey, what's up, nerds? How you guys doing today? I'm glad to be here with you today doing a head shave. Uh, it's been a while since I've made a video. I've actually tried making a few, and my camera <clears throat> kept messing up. But I'm going to get right into it. I'm in a little bit of a hurry this morning, and I'm using a brand new product. It's the Parker Variant. Um, got one of these. I've done a face shave with it. Loved it. Very smooth. Uh, very nice. So I got it on setting three. So let's see if that will focus in at all. Now oh, maybe you can tell me or not. Whatever. Uh, based off the Suffolk shaver, the reviews he did, um, talking to some people, Rudd shave, I contacted him, saw he did a park or a variant versus progress head shave and decided, you know what, let's get one. The guy had one used, he offered a really good price on it, and I went for it. So I'm going to be using Soap Commander Wisdom, Lavender and Peppermint. I mean, it's just a nice, relaxing, calming scent. I'm using my 30 millimeter black synthetic tuxedo from Maggard Razors, and I started off with some uh, Monroe Shaving Co. pre-shave oil, the citrus cedar pre-shave oil. I've already got that on my head, but uh, I'm going to start loading the brush. This scent is a very calming, relaxing scent, and uh, that's what I need. I need a calm shave. Work has been crazy, long hours, a lot of days. I mean, um, I don't know when the last time I shaved my head was. Within a week, I bet, but it's been a while. So, work's just been nuts. I just need a nice, calm, easy shave. So, plenty loaded. I'm gonna get a little water in it to begin with, because that is pretty thickly loaded. And get to it. So, how you guys been? Hopefully everything is going good. Hopefully life is going well. Uh, happy to be doing a video. Like I've said, I've tried making a few videos. Uh, Flash Boredom, I've used the Palm Olive Shave Stick a few times in some different videos. And for one reason or another, the video just doesn't turn out. Either my phone, when I go to upload it, the sound and the, the audio and the video aren't linked up right where my mouth will be moving but no words are coming out and then there's like a delay in the audio and then the audio will start or um, when I go to edit it, it won't edit out right and so um, Flash, I've, I've used some of those products, love it, it was an awesome little product I've probably done two or three videos that haven't uh, panned out where I could upload them so I got a lot I loaded up quite a bit in there and that lavender peppermint combo is just a very nice calming relaxing scent And I like the peppermint because it gives a nice, cool tingle to it as well. Clean up back there a little bit. It's not a super strong scent, um, but good. Not not anything overpowering, but for a lavender peppermint, that this is exactly what I want. I'd want something pretty non um, non obtrusive or pretty, you know, not mild, but. Uh, I don't know, it just fits it, being lavender and peppermint, just kind of a softer, just kind of a relaxed, the scent strength is almost like a relaxed scent strength as well. I don't know, it's hard to describe. I really like the performance of Soap Commander's products. Um, 
perform really well. And leave a really good post shave fill also. Alright. That is a good lather for me. That's a good lather. So, getting at it with my Parker variant. Setting 3 is what I'm starting with. And it's got a brand new Gillette Wilkinson sword. I've used the Wilkinson swords, but never used a Gillette Wilkinson sword. So, here we go. Right into it against the grain. Probably 5, 6 days growth, I'd bet. Alright, here we go. First few stub around my head. Honestly, on a three, that's a little more uh, aggressive than I thought it was going to be. Not bad, but... Man, that's efficient. You know, I don't know if it's just me. I know there's guys out there who love their vintage razors, the vintage Gillette. Um, and I really like the Gillette Tech and the Fat Boy and the Slim when I used it on my face. Um, but I found for me on my face with my skin, I don't know if it's just me, if other people have noticed this um, the blade pairing is very very important for me with some of the older vintage razors um, if I don't get the right blade in there I get a terrible shave and it seems like these more modern razors, the uh, Variant, the Maggard razors, the Future, no matter what blade I, well I shouldn't say no matter what blade, a much wider variety of blades I can put in there and get a pretty similar shave. Now there are some blades that perform better than others, some blades that perform worse, but on the whole, it seems like for me, the vintages, I have to be more selective with the blade I use as compared to these more modern razors. Man, that is nice. Really nice. And the soap commander is really good. Really, really good soap. But then I know there's guys who love their vintage and get excellent shaves with it day in and day out. And maybe they've just found the right blade combo that works for them with the razor. And that's just what they kind of stick with. And that's what they use. And they just get good shaves out of it. I love trying all the different blades and razors, I think it's really cool. 
kind of said in some of my other videos, I'm not really a collector. Like if something's not working, I have no problem moving it on. You know, my red tip, I got no problem training that baby on, trying a different one. If it works, I'll keep it. If it doesn't, I'll move that on too. On this Gillette Wilkinson sword blade feels really smooth and the variant is just mowing through this growth. No problems whatsoever. Feels How can I say this? It feels aggressive and sharp. It's not rough though. It's a smooth, aggressive sharpness, which I love. Which that's what I'm looking for. And that's what I found more out of the modern razors is I get a smooth sharpness and aggressiveness out of some of those uh, vintage they can be sharp and aggressive but it's usually not smooth or they can be uh, very very smooth and it doesn't feel sharp or aggressive so in my in, in my experience which is limited I mean, let's be real, my experience is very limited, so I'm rambling on about that like I'm some expert on it, and I am definitely not. I've used, what, maybe three vintage razors, four vintage razors in my life, so to pretend like I am a expert on it, I am not remotely that. In my limited experience, maybe that's how I'll say it. That was just mowing right through it. No problems, no hang up, no hicks, hiccups, no hitches, no nothing. Just, I mean, it's just gliding right along. And that's what Flash Boredom said. He said the variant just glides over his head. I also got something new to the shave done, but I don't know if it's here, but I don't know if I want to show you guys yet or not, or wait until I use it. We'll see. We'll see how I feel.
Yeah, it feels so easy. It's it's awesome. It just feels so easy. And I do like the knurling on the handle. I used the progress. My buddy let me try borrow his progress. And uh, the heads on the variant and the progress seem to me, from what I remember, to be just about identical. And the pictures I've seen, they look to be pretty much identical. Um, but I did notice his handle was a little when it got wet was a little slick and my future is like that as well because the handles are so smooth um, felt a little slick but this one the knurling feels like you get better grip on it let's feel if I'm missing any major areas got a lot back there on my neck a lot of lather down on my neck not a lot of missed spots Alright, first pass done and it was a beauty. That was smooth, easy, gliding right along. Felt really, really good. Soap felt really good. Very quick, light rinse. That lavender peppermint is very relaxing, very calming. Feels really good, smells nice. Just a good, calm, easy shave is exactly, is exactly what I needed. I slap some on here for the touch up pass, which I think is going to go fairly quick. You know what? I want to slicken this up a little bit. I know it probably looks pretty thin but I'm going to add a little more water to it just to really slicken things up for that touch up pass let it just whoosh glide right along alright you know what let's just pull out the remainder Spread it in there. Wash my hands. Just do a quick hand wash with it. <laughs> okay, here we go. Touch up pass. Wow. Wow, that is... Really good. And that's what I've heard about the... Variant. Very efficient. And I will agree to that right now. Very, very efficient.
Holy smokes, that is. Super efficient. That Gillette Wilkinson sword blade is really nice too. Really smooth, sharp, but not harsh, not overly harsh at all. Really, really nice. Usually I miss a little around the ear. Wow. I got a question for you guys. So a little while back I asked what your pre-shave setup was and Abe, thank you for that email. Awesome stuff, man. Awesome stuff. Really appreciate it. Um, so, let me ask you post-shave routine. I've been thinking about throwing, and actually I'm going to use it today, see how it does, some aloe vera into my post shave routine kind of as a moisturizer just wondering if anybody's used that before if they have how they liked it and what you normally do for your post shave routine either put it down in the comments a quick little synopsis or hit me up on email Oh, come on, there's like one hair. That no matter, okay, got him. <laughs> he was holding on for dear life. All right, guys, that is it. That is it. That was awesome. I'm going to pause real quick, rinse off, and I'll be right back to finish it up. So hang tight. I'll be right back. And we're back. Here we go. Allen block. Finish it off. Oh, wow. There's almost zero burn. This is insane. This is insane. <laughs> this is unbelievable. This is probably the best head shave of my life. Um, I've had some good ones on camera. I've had some good ones off camera. This is probably the best I've ever had. That soap was exactly what I wanted. The lavender peppermint. Very calming, cool, relaxing, 
great scent. Soap Commander performed really well. And that variant with the Gillette Wilkinson Sword Blade was outstanding. Setting through the entire time, no issues whatsoever. There, There is, if I could get this little burn on my face <laughs> for the shaves, I'd be running around in circles in my bathroom jumping up and down. I'd be so excited. This is outstanding. I can't believe it. It's like I'm just rubbing water on my head. It, there's nothing. That, that's awesome. That's un unbelievable. So, let's let that dry a little bit. I didn't feel any nicks, I didn't feel any bumps, any cuts, anything like that. I noticed the color on my screen has been like going crazy today on my phone. I don't know what's up with that, but hopefully it's alright. Alright, let that dry a little bit. We'll go over what we use, because this is unreal. Monroe Shaving Company, Citrus and Cedar Pre-Shave Oil. Awesome. Soap Commander, Wisdom. Lavender Peppermint Shaving Soap. Bomb.com, as my five-year-old would say. Really nice, felt really good, smelled great. The uh, Maggard Razors, 30 millimeter synthetic tuxedo brush, awesome. Parker variant, Wilkin Gillette Wilkinson Sword Blade, out freaking standing. Awesome, unbelievable. Un unbelievable, I'm, I'm still blown away. So, and then Allen Block, what I'm gonna do off camera to finish it off. Witch Hazel with a little tea tree oil. And then this 100% pure aloe vera gel. Gonna try that, see how it feels, see if, um, yeah, see how it feels, see if it feels moisturized, feels good. So, that's it guys. Thanks for tuning in, thanks for watching. So, just a little sneak peek. Do 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 of what's to come. There it is. So that'll be coming up in a future sa shave. So thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully your life is going well. Hopefully everything's going good for you. Please be kind. Be safe. Please like. Please subscribe. Please share. Please comment down below. Let me know what you do post shave. How you keep your dome, your face nice and moisturized, smelling good. We'll talk to you guys later. Roll Tide. Goodbye.